my dear sisters and brothers in Christ the book of exodus describes the beautiful story of god giving the 10 commandments to the people of israel exodus chapter 20 verses 1 to 17 bringing them under god's rule is a sign of god's protection and special love for his people this important covenant is not a burden imposed on the people but rather a special favor granted to them the people of israel experienced god's protection in many ways during their journey through the desert The ark of the covenant was the most important symbol reminding them of the constant presence of God with the people. It contained the 10 commandments, Aaron's rod with which budded and a jar of manna. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 4. It was to house this ark that King Solomon built the temple of Jerusalem. The entire Jewish nation gathered three times every year in this house to worship God. At the conclusion of the Passover Seder, the pilgrims depart Jerusalem telling each other next year in Jerusalem in st john's gospel we have the famous episode of jesus cleansing the temple jesus deed is a prophetical action that he is doing everything in god's name The people of Israel believed that the temple was the uniting point of heaven and earth. The sanctum, sanctorum, the holy of the holies, is the most sacred space in Judaism and was the inner sanctuary within the temple in Jerusalem. The temple was the center of the spiritual world and the most important ceremony going on in the temple was the liturgical worship what happens in the temple is a prefiguration of what everyone will be experiencing in heaven when the temple stood The world was filled with awe for God. However, the market activity disturbed the peace of the temple courts. It is also the place where Gentiles came to pray and worship. Their actions show that Israel deviated from its mission to lead the whole world in the worship of God. the people questioned jesus authority when he cleansed the temple and the proof he gives is his own death and resurrection destroy this temple and in 3 days i will raise it up john 2 chapter 2 verses 20 and 21 The famous biblical scholar Bishop N T Wright writes Heaven and earth interlock and overlaps in Christ For us Jesus unites heaven and earth and through his death and resurrection Jesus has become the new temple. Pope Benedict 
in his book Jesus of Nazareth writes The era of the temple is over a new worship is being introduced in a temple not built by human hands this temple is his body the risen one who gathers the people and unites them in the sacrament of his body and blood he himself is the new temple of humanity jesus of nazareth volume 2 pages 21 and 22 saint paul in his epistles writes that our individual bodies are temples of the holy spirit he writes do you not know that your body is a temple of the holy spirit within you whom you have from god and that you are not your own first corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 we become the temple of the holy spirit through our baptism god resides in a special way in each one of us as the followers of christ we need to become the walking and living temples in which god is made present and available to others let us make an examination of conscience today do we transform ourselves into a marketplace rather than a temple? Do we fill our hearts with worldly pursuits, busyness, lust, and other selfish preoccupations? If so, during this Lenten season, we can pray that Jesus would cleanse the temple of our bodies and make it a house of prayer.